Come on. You got it. You got it. Yeah. You really can't beat the sense of community that comes with the club. And I think that's why a lot of us join it. I think it's great to get away for the weekend, forget about classes for a little while, just hang out with some friends and just enjoy the nature. I think also with school, like we're so plugged in and connected, and so it's nice just to like get outside with everyone and everyone be able to just take a deep breath and like kind of relax. I'm taking a lot of classes and it gets pretty stressful, but I can sort of leave all that behind and just climb and be around people who want to be outside too. Almost all of these places that we've gone on trips, I would have no reason to go to if it weren't for the climbing club. It seems like everybody that I hang out with is somehow connected to the climbing club. I feel like it attracts just super cool people. It's a climbing club first and foremost, but we bond over more than just climbing. You know, people slack line together, people surf together, people backpack together. The community is very much a part of this club. The way that I found the climbing club was when I moved down my freshman year, I sought it out actually. I think I saw it at like a booth or something. And they had a booth and they were just like rock climbing and I went over there and I was like I want to rock climb. And I asked one of the random tents uh, where I can find the climbing club and they said honestly we don't know but maybe look up the Instagram. A few of my friends were on the climbing club and always said good things, so I gave it a shot this semester. It was like the registered student organization list. It was within the first week of college I joined because it just looked so cool. I heard about it through the guys working at the arc wall. The arc wall is the climbing wall at the rec center on campus. I found out about the club through a friend. She joined the club right around when I was getting into climbing, and so I joined her on one of the trips. I mean, I've just always loved climbing. It's been my thing, so I just looked for any sort of climbing outlet that they had out here and found the climbing club, and they welcomed me with open arms. I mean, our main thing is definitely the outdoor rock climbing trips. At the beginning of the semester, the whole board meets up. We plan our trips for the semester. Our big ones are like Joshua Tree, Red Rock, Yosemite, Bishop. We go to those places like pretty much every semester. The week before, we'll say we have a pre-trip meeting on campus, come to the Koi Pond. It's where we like gather everybody that's interested in going on the trip. We go over all the details, like where we're camping, um, what type of climbing there is. Welcome, everybody. We're all here for the Yosemite pre-trip meeting. Yep, sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably gonna be a bouldering trip for most people, but that's perfectly okay, because the bouldering there is like world-class. Um, it's super good, and there's so much of it everywhere in the park. Then at that meeting, we also like sent out a carpool list so people can get rides. We incentivize carpooling because it's good for the environment. It reduces our footprint on the crag. Uh, you meet people, you meet friends and uh, no one wants to drive seven hours alone. When the weekend comes, we all head out and meet up on like Thursday or Friday, camp out, climb during the day, come back, hang out at night, have a campfire, um, just have a good time for the whole weekend. We're in Holcomb right now, north of Big Bear. Yosemite National Park, baby! We're in Yucca Valley, Joshua Tree, California. We're out here in Bishop. We are in beautiful Red Rock, Nevada. We're climbing some sport routes and top ropes. We eat well here. What's for lunch? 
We got some cheeses. We got brie, monster. I'm eating garbanzo beans out of a can. And then inside we got some green onions and some couscous. We are making a fat potted jambalaya. And it's gonna be delicious. Just get this shot. Ooh, delectable. <laughs> what are we in line here for? Pancakes. 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 We got some wild caught Alaskan salmon with original flavor Pringles. Original. Original. Yeah. We got the crunchy, the fleshy. <laughs> God, it's so good. <laughs> nice, Jeff. Good job. That was where I fell last time, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's over, right? Yeah. Uh, we have all different types of people in the club, all different levels and abilities for climbing. It is all experience welcome as long as you're gonna have fun and uh, treat the places that we go with respect. You know, even if you can't climb all that much, uh, hanging out with everybody and just like seeing other people climb, you'll learn more. People are always teaching other people. When I first came to the club, like I didn't know how to lead climb. I didn't know what a quick draw was. I didn't even like, I knew how to belay, but I was just like, you know, top rope queen. And now like I get to do multi-pitch trad with the same people who taught me to lead like three years ago. I can climb stuff where I'm kind of like, wow, I can't believe I just did that. And I'm watching a lot of people that are new and they're already getting so much better, which is really cool to see that progress. Um, and then there's some really serious climbers for sure. A few people who go hard. <laughs> yeah. very nice to get away from school, especially as an engineering major. There have been a couple trips where I was like, ooh, a little dicey if I should just be in the woods for a couple days. You can kind of just, you know, shut school off for a few days. You get used to the same stuff every day throughout the week, just going to school, going back, eating, doing whatever. It's good to go out and get in nature and just refresh. Yeah, you don't have to think about it because half the time you don't have any cell phone service or anything like that. So even if you are worrying about it, there's nothing you can do. I've never once regretted going on a trip. It is just so nice to get out of the city, out of the hustle and bustle of campus and just be in a beautiful, serene environment. Well, it's so nice to just, you know, detach and be in nature because like we're outside all day and all night. Going to school in San Diego, there's not a whole lot of nature directly around campus. And having people that love nature as much as I do, it's like very refreshing. We're in California, <laughs> so all of it's within like five hours. So it's pretty nice that we can just all get up and drive out and get to a place like Bishop, where it's just completely different than San Diego in every way. And it's amazing. I feel like I don't even know how some people like don't do homework. I feel like I'm always doing homework. Studying. And climbing. I mean, the belay is on me, but nobody is on belay. Okay. So, Are you sure? As soon as we have like a break during climbing, I'm like, okay, I gotta start studying. If, if I don't, I'm gonna fail. I always say that I do that, and then I end up studying like 2%, if not less. <laughs> it's, impossible. it's impossible. You can't study on a trip. It's a lie. <laughs> I definitely feel like I found a good community in the climbing club. I've met pretty much all of my closest friends from the climbing club. I feel like I've made so many friends within the past two months just from the climbing club. Meeting new people on every trip and like pushing myself physically and mentally in just like a super supportive environment. I've really found the community through climbing where it's it's become my second family. I feel supported by the people in this club and I feel like everyone roots for each other and looks out for each other. Pretty much everybody I've met in San Diego has either been like directly through the club or people that I've met through people that I've met in the club. Most of my friends I've met out here are from the climbing club and they're all just 
super cool. Some of the closest friendships I have, I've made through the club, met mentors through the club. I see some people that I could mentor in the future, you know, passing it along. I feel like it's such an awesome group because not only is it like some really incredible people who are willing to like teach people to learn, but it's also so open. If you don't know anything, you can just show up for the weekend and like really get to see just by like watching what people are doing and like asking questions. It's so easy to meet so many really cool people and not only meet these cool people, but make really close connections just based on like how much time you're spending together and like the experiences that you're having together. Every semester there's, you know, a whole new group of people who are just psyched on climbing and we all just always have a great time. Everybody just wants to see you send it and like give it a hundred percent, so I love it. To get to camp out here with 30 of like your good friends, that's an experience you don't normally get. I don't know what I would be doing if I wasn't in climbing club. I can't even think about that. The climbing club community, it's so much more than just the trips every weekend. These are all my greatest friends that I hang out with all the time. We are really just one big family out there, all having fun out in the woods, climbing rocks. It's definitely changed my life, changed the path that I thought I was going, and definitely for the better. about the club uh, is that you're not a part of it yet. So what the hell are you doing? Get on out. <laughs>